What's up everyone, it's Caddy with Money Vesting. So I've got a brand new Excel spreadsheet and another educational video for all of you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, find it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've been posting more and more of these educational videos for all of you so that the content remains evergreen and you are able to come back to these uh, uh, you know videos and kind of help with your personal finances. That's the goal, right? That I really wanna help you with your personal finances and achieving your investment um, and financial goals. So in this video, we're gonna be focusing on debt, okay? So this is, uh, again, gonna be the concept here and I'm gonna go over my spreadsheet, which by the way, again, is gonna be available for free for everyone. Not a lot of people are taking advantage of this. So if you want to download it for free, I'm literally not even asking anything. You just have to go in there and download it for free. All I'm asking in return is of course a like, so you can just drop a like on this video. I would really appreciate it. Um, so in my previous video, we talked about the retirement calculator. So you know, using that spreadsheet, you can calculate how much money you need in order to retire successfully. You can do the math for yourself. You can build out a budget. You can calculate your income, your investment portfolio, um, and then it's gonna the spreadsheet's gonna do the magic for you and uh, help you plan out what your finances might look like in the future. Now, this video is gonna be focusing on debt because I don't know about you, but I hate debt. All right, I don't want to owe banks or lenders anything like I don't want to pay them like that's just I hate debt that's why I try to limit on the amount of debt I use there's good debt and there's bad debt right if you're buying a home if you're you know getting a mortgage that's good debt I mean you're going to be living there if you're buying a rental property yes that's a good debt uh, your your tenant's going to pay for that or you're going to pay for the property that you're going to live in for the rest of your life so those are good debt but again all debt is you know an obligation to pay Right. So in, in this video, my goal is to really help you understand your debt payments. Right. So we're going to build out an amortization table. That's what it's called. And if you were to make a prepayment, if you make just small adjustments to how much you pay, um, how quickly can you pay down your debt? So you can you can download this spreadsheet, like I said, again, um, and figure that out for yourself. I'm going to walk you through everything and how to, uh, how to calculate that for yourself. So I only need four inputs from you. So like when you're gonna download the spreadsheet, you only need to put in four things and everything else will be calculated for you. So the first thing is going to be the date, right? So if you currently have a mortgage or an auto loan or a personal loan or a business loan or a student loan or a credit card loan, right? Whatever it is, you gotta figure out when did that start? When did that actually begin? right? So let's just say that I took on a loan January 1st, 2022. So I put in 01, 01, 2022. I input that number, right? So January, 2022 is when that loan began. Now, next thing you got to put in is for how many years, right? Did you take that loan for five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? How many years is that loan for, right? Is that debt that you owe is going to be for? So let's just put in 20 years over here, okay? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna automatically calculate the terms, right? 240 months, okay? 240 months, simply that's how many months there are in 20 years. So it's gonna automatically calculate that for you. And it's also gonna tell you the payoff date, right? This is where the payoff date currently is, right? January of uh, 2042. Next thing, next two things you gotta plug in is the amount of loan that you've borrowed. So let's just take a very simple example here, $100,000. Um, and the rate at which you borrowed. Now I get it in some cases, this is gonna be changing, right? You could be like a fixed for certain years and then variable. Um, so I haven't made the spreadsheet that you know, advanced that it's gonna be able to calculate your different changes in interest rates. Uh, but right now it is fixed at a certain rate, right? So for example, I had a student loan, uh, now it's paid off, but I had a student loan last year for $25,000 and that was fixed, fixed for about 4.2%. So if I plug in that rate, let's just go for that example, 4.2% interest rate that's locked for the next 20 years at $100,000. Now it's gonna calculate what your payment is gonna look like. In other words, this is the monthly payment that I have to pay every single month based on this loan conditions. $100,000 loan for 20 years at 4.2%, I'm gonna have to pay $616 every single month in order to pay this loan off in January of 2042. Uh, this is the total payoff amount. So I borrowed $100,000. I'm gonna pay off 147, close to $148,000. The principal is gonna be 100,000 of course, and the total interest 
is going to be 48, almost $48,000. So this is a good breakdown on your entire loan summary, right? You know the payoff date, you know how much your monthly payment is, you know the total payoff amount, you know how much you're paying in principal and interest. Now we're going to move over to sheet two. So in this Excel spreadsheet, once you download it, I'm going to hide myself for a minute. Um, you're going to see, uh, let me just see if I can hide myself for just one second here. You know what? I'm just going to move away. <laughs> I'm going to move the mic as well so you can see it. There we go. There, there's the, uh, this is so weird. This is the sheet two that I'm talking about over here, right? So where my cursor is, you're going to see that sheet two uh, in that spreadsheet. So once you click on there, it's going to take you to this entire amortization table, right? So what it's showing you in this table is simply month by month, your beginning balance, the payment that you're making every month, which is fixed, right? Because you're making the same payment every month, the interest part of that payment and the principal part of that payment that you're making and the ending balance, right? So if you come down to 240, because that's how many months it's going to take you to pay this balance off. If you come down to 240, you'll notice that, that that the balance is now zero, right? So 240 right here, you'll notice the balance actually turns negative. Uh, it's actually $2.15, but that's just a rounding error, but it pretty much is negative starting 240, after 240 payments, right? Because you've paid off the entire loan, the entire debt. Now, this table in itself can be useful for you to plan out your finances and for us, for you to really know, okay, so what's going to be my interest payment, my principal payment, and, you know, the amortization table and what's going to be the ending balance, all that stuff. But it's not useful if you don't do anything about it, right? So my goal here is to kind of explain to you, okay, so even if you make small changes to this payment plan, what, what is that going to look like? So for example, this is a prepayment column. If I decide to pay an additional $100, right, per month, how much am I going to reduce the total uh, months, right, by the time I'm paying this loan off? So let's just say that I am in month 15 over here, and I decide to pay an extra $100 each month, right? And I drag this all the way lower. Now look what happens if you come down what we need to know, what we need to look for is really when that number turns zero. So now you've got that number balance, balance pretty much at zero at 196 month, right? 196. So we pretty much went from 240 to 196, right? That is a 44 months. That's almost four years off of your loan payment terms just by an additional $100 per month towards your loan. So that's the that's what I wanted to go over because the power of compounding works against you when you're borrowing money. It works in favor of you when you're investing money, but if you still have debt, it can still work in your favor if you just make some small changes, some small tweaks. If you bump this number up to say $200, right, and drag all the way down, so now we go from 196 to now we're sitting at 167. So we just shaved off another 30 months off the timetable for paying off the loan. And, uh, and another really interesting thing is that from 240 to 167, right? That's pretty substantial uh, reduction in, in your payment. So 240 minus 167, that's 73 months, right? 73 months divided by 12, that's over six years. That's just completely gone. Now the loan's going to be paid off in 14 years instead of 20. So this spreadsheet is going to be available. So, and, and again, you can do a couple different things here. So it doesn't have to be like a constant payment. Let's just say that you inherit some money. Let's just say that, you know, uh, you, you want to take some stock market gains and pay for this loan or whatever it is, right? You can make a lump sum payment. Let's just say that you decide to pay $25,000 in lump sum in one of the months. And if you do that, then if you come down and see for yourself, when exactly does this turn negative? And that will also do the trick of getting it down to 163, right? So that, that's what I wanted to go over is the power of prepayment uh, in, 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 in an effort to kind of lower your term or your timeline for when you actually pay off your debt. And this can be very beneficial 
um, for, for you to actually, you know, get out of the debt that you currently have, whether it's a student loan or again, a credit card or a personal loan, even a mortgage, you can kind of run the numbers and see that for yourself um, and, and what works best for you. Kind of lay out your current structure. Okay, you know, we're paying so-and-so every single month right now at this interest rate for this amount. What if we increase our payment by an additional you know, $50 or $100 or $200, how quickly can we pay the home off or how quickly we can pay this loan off? So just wanted to do this video and of course uh, go over this calculation. So if you guys enjoyed this video, find it helpful, make sure that you drop a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, the spreadsheet link is going to be down below. I'll pin it in the comments. Uh, but as always, happy investing and I'll see you all in the next video.